Good morning. <laughs> I'm tired. Dude, you were so drunk last night. I know. You were bordering on Lars territory. Who's that? And your alter ego. Oh, Lars. <laughs> no. You were. I was so drunk. I feel like fine today. I'm just tired. Thank God. I was like, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna feel terrible tomorrow. We have to go do stuff. It is. <laughs> 11.16, like just got out of bed like 30 minutes ago. So got a lot of rest and now we're gonna go get a coffee and then I, oh my God, this is so exciting. I am going to get ski boots made for me because I just rent them every year. And now that I'm a professional skier, TJ thinks it's time that I just invest in a pair of ski boots. Let's start our journey. We're in the car. I ordered my Starbucks. We're gonna pick it up and then we're gonna go to Surefoot. Mm -hmm. Will you explain to the people what this is? Cause you can do a much better job of it than I can. Well, Erin's gonna get fitted for some custom ski boots that are actually fitted to her foot. I don't know if you guys are familiar with ski boots, but they're like hard plastic boots that are just <laughs> super uncomfortable. May I speak to Tim? This is him. So you can get, you're getting, she's getting custom ski boots made. They're like molded to her foot. Um, they're gonna have heaters in them. That's like a big thing for me because I'm very like simple in the way where like I never knew that that was a thing really like I know your parents have it but like yeah. I'm fine with doing the like toe warmers on mm -hmm. my feet um I think it but just that's always makes the more sense. Uh, totally that is always the first thing that I'm like okay I gotta go in now my feet are cold you really can't enjoy yourself if you have cold feet or fingers yeah like boots and gloves Ugh. it's always worth like investing in yeah, and we've been going now for like four-ish years whenever they moved there. And like we go at least two times during the winter. Obviously last year we spent like a ton of time there, but I think at this point it just makes sense to do that as opposed to like renting boots. I'm excited. This is like my first, so last winter was the first time I bought like any ski stuff because TJ's family just grew up skiing so they had extra stuff all the time. So last year I got like goggles. <laughs> And that was like my big thing. So this year I'm getting boots. She's very athletic and like I, I've been skiing since I was a little kid and I kind of, I've taught her and watched her progress and now she's like pretty good like she keeps up with me and my parents we're out there ripping like blues and blacks and trees and she's keeping up now so okay i got fitted for my boot and now we have to wait like an hour for it to be done um <laughs> There's a little bit of <laughs> an incident. <laughs> Basically, they like, in doing the skin of your foot, find what boot would best fit your foot. They figure out what kind of skier you are first, yeah. and then they scan your foot, and they're like, okay, you have a very narrow foot, you're like a medium to advanced skier, so this kind of boot will work best for you. And so like, he brought out the boot. It's not like a you choose. <laughs> It's like a, this it's is not like what, you go to the running or to the shoe store and just like. I like that, which like I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's so. much more about the right utility, you know, like which one is best for you to perform your best and feel the best. It, yeah. Not at all about how it looks. But he like brought it out and it's like sea foamy green color and I just was like, okay, well my jacket's like hot pink and these will absolutely not go with what I'm wearing. And they're both guys, so they were like, it doesn't matter. Like he was like, <laughs> it literally doesn't matter. No, I s spoke up No, you, you did, but you also said you're like, I, I don't get it, it doesn't matter. And then the guy, he's so funny, he was like, um, okay. He's like, you'll only see this part. And I was like, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah it's <I> fine. <laughs> Poor guy. And then I was like, do you just have like black? <laughs> And he was like, no, but so we're going with that. 
because truly at the end of the day, it does not matter. That was just me being like a little fashion diva for a hot second. I was like, I'm not gonna put you through this right now. Like, just do it. It's between that or a purple. Yeah, I didn't want the purple. <laughs> the thing is, I like the color. Yeah, it just doesn't go with your current fit. Yeah, it'll go with my white jacket though. It's <laughs> also like on the um, buckles there's like an orange color <laughs> didn't notice <laughs> but um yeah so we're just gonna kill an hour and then pick up the boots nice and soft so soft you love soft things yeah it's like I can feel it on my feet too, on the inside. It nice. just like feels so soft. Good. The, you can stand right here with the with your heels kind of in that bow right there. <laughs> okay. And what we're about to do, yeah. these are going to be the least comfortable these boots will be. Perfect. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> And these tubes that I'm covering up here, all the foam that doesn't stay in your boot gets ejected through here. It takes about four minutes. I'm sure you've had your blood pressure taken before. Oh, perfect, it'll feel just like that? Yeah, maybe a little, even a little bit more uncomfortable. <laughs> How was it for you? <laughs> I don't remember it being too bad. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it kind of tickles a little. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh, yep. There's the uncomfortable one. <laughs> <laughs> Spoke too soon. Cool. We are home. This is my unboxing couch <laughs> now. I'm just going to show you guys what I got. These are the boots. The color's fully grown on me already. And it'll be fine, but they're so nice. They're like lined with this like fleece, which I am fully obsessed with. Um, Surefoot is just amazing and I'm so excited to try these out. It's so crazy, like even just having them on my foot compared to the rental ones that I use, it's just like truly such a difference. It's pretty crazy. So I'm very excited for these. And then and these are like the batteries and it's so cool. You'll just control it with an app. I'll show you guys when we go to Utah. Um, and then they keep your boots warm while you're skiing. And I normally just put the little toe warmers and stuff in, so this will be fun. And then I got a new pair of ski socks. The ones that I have now, I've had the same ones for like four years. Um, the part that goes on your calf is like super tight and it always bothers me. So I wanted to get a new pair and these ones seem to have like way more stretch. And he said that um, it's better to wear thin ones. Hi, my angel baby. Mm, did you miss me? Did you miss me at all? Okay. And then I got another package. Let me grab it. Okay, when I was drunk on Black Friday, I was like, I need to buy this coat. I'm obsessed with it. But I was like, I don't need a coat. And then all of the girls were like, you need it. And so then I bought it. I'm so excited. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my gosh, she is beautiful <laughs> the amount of people who are probably like ugh <laughs> I don't care I don't know why I love this okay this is a hundred percent the vibe whatever this is is so soft I cannot wait to wear this it's like pretty thin so I thought it would be a little bit warmer but very cute it would be so cute to wear with like a sweater underneath obsessed okay it is like 3.30 and I need to edit my vlogmas that I'm posting today. I wish that you guys could smell through the camera how good it smells in here. It smells so good. TJ, <laughs> yeah. TJ made homemade chicken noodle soup. We're just waiting for Emily and then we're gonna eat, but I'm so... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I have to wait. And then I have to shred the chicken and then I have to put it back in with the noodles for like five more minutes oh. and then it will be done. That'll be like perfect timing. Yeah. Oh my God, I can't wait. Soup's on. 
Yeah. A little Ooh, a little parmesan. Oh, yum. Absolute yum, baby. This is so good. 10 out of 10. Hot. <laughs> it is, it's so hot. Hello, teens. <laughs> teens. <laughs> Literally me, a teenager, with my retainer. I'm getting so bad. I like, now know that I can wear, not wear my retainer for at least two days in a row at night. Um, except you can see it like, obviously has a lot of space, but by the morning it's like fully on my teeth. Um, so I know I can get away with it now. So I've gotten into a very bad habit of being like, oh, I know I have one more day. I just hate the whole like schlep of having a retainer, having to like brush it every night and every morning, et cetera, et cetera. It's like a whole nother step that is just so obnoxious to me. <laughs> Last night. Sierra said, I give off dad energy is walking around our house with the TikTok on full volume while simultaneously having his flashlight on, on his camera. <laughs> if that doesn't exude dad energy, then I don't know what does. I feel like we didn't do a ton today. I didn't really film a lot other than the Surefoot appointment. It wound up taking like three-ish hours. So that was like a good chunk. We left at like 11.15 and we got home at like 3.30. 30-ish, but I watched a lot of TV tonight. Tonight was like a big Bravo night for me. I watched Real Housewives of Salt Lake. Thank God it was back. They took a week off and honestly, like, how could they do that to us? <laughs> Salt Lake is just truly the superior Housewives franchise. Like, would recommend anyone start there, especially if you're not looking to be committed to something for super long. It's only two seasons, so really easy to get into. And like, oh my God, they played a trailer for like what's coming up and it just looks insane. They're insane and I'm obsessed with them and I can't wait. When we go to Utah, I think TJ and I are gonna have a day where we like go to some locations. So that'll be really fun and exciting. How was your chicken? Noodle soup. I would show you TJ, but he's in his boxers and now he's not in anything. <laughs> I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend and thank you guys so much for just hanging with me during this Vlogmas journey. It's been so wonderful reading everyone's comments and like chatting with you guys in the comment section as always. And thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Shout out of the video goes to um, Caitlin in London, England. Ooh. Caitlin, you go girl. I feel like that's a good one. That's like a big, uh, big demographic. Is it? You have a lot of British fans? Well, London's like pretty big and I feel um, like Caitlin's like a pretty... You sound like you're from London. It's okay. Um, well, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.